Hawaii Volcano Eruption Update What is VOG? How many earthquakes have hit today? Kilauea, the most active volcano in Hawaii, continues to erupt, launching giant gas and ash plumes thousands of feet into the sky. An explosive eruption is expected imminently, raising the threat of more lava, earthquakes and toxic VOG. What is VOG, and how does it affect humans? Volcanic activity from Kilauea, the Hawaii volcano, has sent destructive lava and toxic gases out into the surrounding residential areas of Big Island. Thousands of locals have been displaced due to a large amount of damage caused by a short series of earthquakes that rocked the mountain. Latest reports suggest a big eruption could happen any minute, spreading toxic gases and fog further out into the rest of the state, with weather reports suggesting the gases could be carried on strong trade winds. A shifting wind pattern forecast for this week could blow a large cloud northwest towards Maui and the other islands of Hawaii. The winds could hit as early as this week blowing much of the smoke and ash into the more densely populated areas of the state. That is VOG. Hawaiian authorities are now warning local residents to be wary of toxic fumes and VOG emanating from the 20 fissures that have opened up in Puna. Much of the area has been evacuated but now Hawaiians outside the danger area could be affected by the spreading VOG. Vog is a dense cloud of smog or haze that forms when moisture is present. After the eruption last week, an immense amount of ash and dust was blasted out into the air, with toxic fumes issuing out from the many fissures ripped open during the earthquakes. The toxic gas is fatal to humans in enough quantity, putting thousands of lives at risk. A Vog typically contains smoke, dust and gases from an eruption volcano. Ash from the erupting volcano could also pose a risk to the Hawaiian population. National Geographic says, carbon dioxide and fluorine, gases that can be toxic to humans, can collect in volcanic ash. The resulting ash fall can lead to crop failure, animal death and deformity, and human illness. Ash's abrasive particles can scratch the surface of the skin and eyes causing discomfort and inflammation. If inhaled, volcanic ash can cause breathing problems and damage the lungs. Inhaling large amounts of ash and volcanic gases can cause a person to suffocate. Suffocation is the most common cause of death from a volcano. Recent activity at the Kilauea volcano this morning has sent ash and volcanic smog spiraling 12,000 feet into the air showering cars on Highway 11 with grey ash and prompting an unhealthy air advisory in the community of Pahala, 18 miles from the summit. An aviation red alert means a volcanic eruption is underway that could spew ash along aircraft routes, the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, says on its website. A shift in winds was expected to bring ash and fog inland Wednesday and make them more concentrated said John Bravender of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. We're observing more or less continuous emission of ash now with intermittent, more energetic ash bursts or plumes, Steve Brantley, a deputy scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO, said. How many earthquakes have hit today? Continued activity in Pune has given scientists cause to fear that an imminent eruption could rock the state. A giant plume of ash and smoke was sent spiraling up into the air, prompting a red aviation alert. There have been no further earthquakes in the area today, but scientists from USGS warn that further activity could be extremely explosive and violent.